previously on Superhero. Right, welcome to the Grogne. Quite a lot of old original timbers which we want to keep here as well. Someone order the superhero! Welcome back to the Grogne. We're going from the ground floor. Pingless. Happy Sunday morning. <laughs> Thanks very much. And the first point of note is uh, the first apartment here, which we lovingly refer to as the circus. Notes the beautifully placed plumbing runs. Not entirely impressed with that. And also point of note, security plaster board. You've got enough time, you can count all those screws. We haven't got enough time in the day, so we're not gonna bother. Another apartment that hasn't been sold. Plumbing supply. And then the flight up to the tool room and the grogne. How many steps is that, mate? 78. Awesome. Here we are upstairs straight away. First thing to notice is this used to be just a big open space where the pigeons would fly in. That's not gonna happen anymore because we framed it, bricked it, lintled it, new window. The roof's been repaired. You plasterboard everywhere. So I took a day to chip off all the old loose render on the walls here, which unfortunately I've got to cover up again, because some of it's not that great. Um, then if you look this way and down, this is what we have to contend with. The 78 stairs go all the way down there somewhere, which is always good fun. And then looking back up again, the original roof window's gone, we've ripped that out and we've probably sticked with some new shiny roof windows, which don't make them very nice. All the plasterboard framed around the roof structure, um, which is great. Three lights in this room. Beyond that in the corner, you'll see the earthenware pipe that doesn't exist anymore because I smashed it out, it was redundant. Uh, cabling done for the lighting and power. And then down in the corner, you'll see the pipes, supply and waste for the upstairs loo and the framing for the stairwell. That's the upstairs. Right, so coming down out the vision aid back into the stairwell room, which is basically nothing more than a storeroom for us at the moment. Um, it's a handy place to have, to keep everything in. If you look around, you can actually see in the loft room the work that we've done in there. The ceilings are in, roof insulated and repaired, new roof window, again, nice new one doesn't leak, walls prepared, floors ready to go in. Basically, the soil and ventilation system was not really of a good standard before we got in and changed it. So the new downpipe is installed and that runs all the way up to the top. The pigeon room has an air inlet valve up there so the evacuation runs all the way down vertically. It's one next and then down through the next apartment and so on and so forth. I'll show you the next apartment later on because there's a very interesting point in there that I want to show you. Hot and cold feeds up to the top room. Everything there is pretty easy to do. The original fireplace is now gone, um, discovered it's a bit shonky anyway, didn't really want it in the room, it was taking up too much space because the main bedroom is going to be of a certain size, the double bed will fit in without the fireplace being there. Um, you see the water damage originally from where the roof was leaking, that's all fixed now. We've got a new set of windows in the main bedroom, nice flitch beam under there which is now exposed and will be exposed more before we finish. Walking through here. This is the partition between the bedroom and the bathroom. These are the supplies to the shower. Stepping into the bathroom, again, exposed fish being for the lintel, new windows, and hot and cold supply for the basin, which is great. Um, so what's this? That's a nail gun. Okay, uh, what does it do? It shoots nails, John. Moving on. <laughs> so now we're in the doorway, the entrance to the bathroom, above us there's one of the lights there for the hallway, uh, there'll be three in total, second one there, and the third one over to our left. Now then, something else I wanted to talk about that I didn't have a chance to last time, is the walls that were originally in here partitioning uh, one room from another were made of brick, which is good. Unfortunately, these bricks were bonded together edge on. Doesn't make for a very strong wall when the bricks are only this thick. So what we've started doing now already is bricking up the original doorway and bricking up properly. Okay, so that's those rooms done. If 
you come and have a look at this, this is an opening that was created by our friend Superhero in the last episode of this saga. Um, opening still there, it's good. Lint's all so it's not going to fall in. Come have a look at this. On the right hand side, this is where the kitchen's going to be. The K's marked on the wall are the power points that we started installing. They're all wired up and ready to go. On the floor, we've got a hot and cold supply, which is currently fixed to there. That's for the kitchen sink. The waste will also flow back out the same way again. Now, notice that the hot and cold supply that you run for all systems is the centre of the apartment now, because that's where the hot tank's going. It's a more logical place for it than outside, which is what we first thought. This is the window for the lounge. And quite interestingly, not the only window that's on this wall in this corner. Because chipping back the render, we found a very old stone mullioned window, which had been bricked in at some point over the years previously. We're not going to make that a window again, it's going to stay as a brick wall, because we need some walls somewhere. This side of the wall you can see, all the bricks were reclaimed, cleaned up, but they're all of random sizes. And this is all going to be closed off anyway with a nice coat of render and then, as part of everything else, finished with a nice white coat of plaster. Up here, the alcove is going to be finished off with half width bricks to create another alcove similar to the arch one, but with the square top instead. Moving on, uh, before you see that, you need to see this, you're not going to believe it. What's that banging noise? Uh, bit of a problem, man. What are you doing? Uh, I think I've found some Roman ruins, man. Really? What do you reckon we should do? It looks like some sort of old pillar. Where on earth did that come from? So as you can see, I was looking for my column everywhere. It turns out I left it in a wall hmm. from 800,000 years ago. The bottom, the base, is about 400 millimetres wide. The column itself is about 300 millimetres wide. You can still see the original tooling marks on the stone. It's in three sections, each section being approximately 800 millimetres high. Unfortunately, there's no header for it. It'd be nice to have found that as well. Anyway, moving on to the cabling, continues up the wall into the roof. Render again cleaned up, chipped off where necessary. The roof in this room has all been repaired, insulated, plasterboarded. Plasterboarding alone took us about five days, about 20 sheets of plasterboard. So this is the apartment below. Come on in. A lot brighter than the grognier, which is nice. However, layout's a bit old. In this corner, which is immediately below where our stairwell room is, is a toilet. This is a small cubicle room. Now in this toilet room is a ventilation system. Well it's called a ventilation system. The white four inch pipe at the top has a little grill on it and it's identical to the apartment below it. This is a ventilation system. There's no forced air, there's no extractor fan. It's just a pipe with a hole in it. Brilliant. Right, so that's basically part two of the Grognier saga. We've been here about 50 days. Um, the temperature got up to about 40 degrees on some days. It's pretty hot. Um, mate, what are you doing? I've just got to finish this off. Consummate professional, always working. Um, what have we got left to do? We've got walls left to do, ceilings in this room left to do, and then the last room. Um, can't think of anything much anything else at the moment. We're just finishing the plumbing off in the bathroom just to make the connections, etc. Um, that's pretty much it.